Dear friends, welcome to day one for the retreat for married couples. Let's begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, dear friends, I invite you, as a married couple, to reflect on God's unfathomable love for each of you. Yes, of course, he loves all of us. But I want you to concentrate on how much he loves each of you. That's why he called you to be one in love with each other, with him and through him. Throughout the whole Bible, God keeps telling us how much he loves us. So for a moment now, please listen to his word, which affirms this absolute love he has. And his word today comes to us from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 1 to 5. But now, thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the water, I will be with you. In the rivers, you shall not drown. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior, because you are precious in my eyes and glorious because I love you, fear not, for I am with you. Dear friends, first of all, I want to invite you that whenever you read God's word or reflect upon it, when you hear names like Israel or Jacob, try putting your own name there. It's not just a nice thing to do. It makes real for us the fact that God's word is living. And when we're in touch with that word, it's being spoken to us now. So fear not, Mary. I am with you, Jim. It really makes God's word come alive. We have just heard in that passage how much God loves us. And I think it's difficult sometimes for us to be convinced of God's love. We keep thinking, well, we're not perfect. Of course we're not perfect. We think of our sins, and we say, well, maybe God will love me later, but not now. But you see, the Lord loves you and me right now. Right now. With all our mistakes, all our failings, yes, even all our sinfulness. He loves you right now, but he loves you too much to let you stay there. So what he does for you and for all of us, he gently but insistently nudges us to come closer, to experience his love in a new way, to be converted so that we can let that love more fully embrace us. As I say, sometimes it takes us a long while to become convinced. Let me share with you just a very brief little story from my own life. Of course I know God loves me. I've known it for years and years and years. But somehow I could never quite experience that love in the way that I thought he wanted me to experience it. There was always some sort of an invisible wall. I could see it, but I couldn't get to it. And several years ago on retreat, as I was reflecting on the very words you've just heard from the Holy Scripture in the book of the prophet Isaiah, all of a sudden, that wall dissolved. I'll never forget that moment. It convinced me even more. But that conviction isn't just for me, it's for each of us. So today, I invite you to take some time quietly uh, with each other and reflect back on how God loves each of you. You have a hint of that if you remember when you first fell in love. Because the, the love you first experienced then was a hint of the love he has for you, for each of you. Yes, those, those days go by and we continue to grow. 
But don't forget that initial experience of love. It's important for you to recall how God loves each of you because that will strengthen your ability to love each other. In fact, today, share with each other those moments in your past life when you experienced in some way God's love for each of you. And pray. Pray that the love you began with will continue to deepen despite, despite all that may have gone on in between. Pray that you will become so convinced of God's love that that conviction will lead you to walking more securely with him in love. May you truly experience God's love for each of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.